Well, it is one of our favorite time of year. The holidays are among us and we've gathered some of our friends and family here at Hometown Living. Jesse is our photographer and editor and his lovely wife, Heather, and Drake, his little boy. Drake, how old are you? 11. 11. And it was a snow day today, so we didn't play hooky to be here, which is awesome, right? And you've got a treat for us that I had never heard of. Heather, what are you going to make today? We're going to make deviled potatoes today. Oh, well, that after knowing Jesse a little more, that makes total sense, <laughs> right? Is this some sort of Southern Michigan treat that I'm not aware um, of? No, I had a friend make them as um, a version of vegan deviled eggs. So oh. a way to kind of have something similar without having the egg is how I first had them. Okay. And then I like to put bacon on them, but you don't have to. Yeah, well, yeah. yes you do, <laughs> right? So you, you may not know this, but deviled eggs are my like go-to. I love making them and I love eating them. So, and I love potatoes and all things carbs. Right. So I am in holiday heaven right here in the Martin's Test Kitchen. So let's dive right in. What kind of potato do you use? Awesome, we just used kind of like the smallest potato you can find because you want it to be bite sized. Yeah, so okay. So I did an assortment of colors. I love that. And you cut them in half. Gotta boil them first. Boil, boil them, them first, about yeah. 10 minutes. Okay. Cut them in half. Do you, should they be soft to the touch or like use a yeah. toothpick or something? Yeah, yeah, I just use a little knife. Yeah. Then I have this little thing. I think it's for taking the tops out of strawberries, but it works perfect for this. Oh my gosh, I love multitasking. And you're taking the inside of the potatoes out. Now, is this something that you let Drake do? Yeah, he loves to do this. Yeah. Well, we should get him in the action uh, here. I know. Think, He'll Drake? stir this up for us, okay. won't you, Drake? All right. So that's like, okay, if we were making deviled eggs, that would be like the yolk part. Yes, right. so you're taking out the yolk, you're putting and it in a separate this bowl. creating shell for the um, thing. Look at you with skills. You're gonna be a chef when you get older. Good job. I love that. And then you, you know, kind of the traditional deviled egg ingredients, right? We've got right. mayonnaise and mustard and salt and pepper and some paprika. Absolutely. And did you, did we, we didn't bring bacon. No, we didn't bring oh, bacon. Oh, we, we should stop and start over. <laughs> <laughs> good job, Drake. Yeah, I do. That's looking good. We're gonna do our mayo. If the spoon will fit in there. Oh yeah, you can't. You can't. Okay, I love that. I love the squeeze part, right? Yeah. So how many squeezes mustard, do you get? Just like one squeeze. One squeeze. Ah! Perfect. I don't know if that's enough or not, but we'll see. You want to do a little salt and pepper? Oh, I trust I'm good you. At that. I love the like this kind of you know where you can do like yeah. the action in there. Like a real it chef. It does, it, like a real chef, <laughs> that's right. I do like a lot of pepper on my deviled eggs. And oh, and this is some sort of pink fancy salt. Yeah, pink Himalayan salt. Oh my goodness. Nothing but the best for the holidays. Right. And so, yeah, okay, so then we've got this all mashed up and it really does, if I didn't know any better, I would think that this was the yolks of a deviled egg. Yeah. Then you're just crafty. putting it in your little shells. Yeah. So you've got to have a different... Um, Probably a smaller spoon. Yeah, we can use this little yeah. knifey thing, I bet. And so you kind of spoon it out, and whoa, look at that. Yeah, you know, get a lot in there, Drake. Do you like it to be heavy on the on the potato part? Sometimes, it depends yeah. what food I'm in. Yeah, and that's looking good. Then Wait, I just topped it with a little paprika. Gotta love that. I always think, you know, paprika really doesn't have any taste to me. It's just oh, colorful. Now that well. was a lot of paprika. <laughs> well, then we'll have a lot of taste now, won't it? <laughs> okay, so the, now the test is in the tasting, yeah, right? Isn't yeah. that what they say? Let's see. Okay, Drake, did you want one? Sure. I think we all should taste it together. So if we, you know, go down, we all go down together. That's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Mm. Mm. That is good. And you know, this is good for the holiday, but I'm sensing like Labor Day vibes. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like it's potato barbecue. salad, you know, mm -hmm. with, yeah, but so it could have something all year long. This is really good. I don't know. I have a friend, or I have a friend who told me they had a friend. I don't remember, but they never would call them deviled eggs. They called them angel eggs. <laughs> so we're gonna, we may have to re- Angel re potatoes. Angel potatoes <laughs> from Southern Michigan. <laughs> I love it. And you can make these really easy at home. I'm just gonna eat now. Thanks for sharing this. You're with welcome. Guys. Good job. 